Conceptually, we're thinking of each neuron as being connected to all of the neurons in the previous layer. And the weights in the weighted sum defining its activation are kind of like the strengths of those connections. And the bias is some indication of whether that neuron tends to be active or inactive. And to start things off, we're just going to initialize all of those weights and biases totally randomly. Needless to say, this network is going to perform pretty horribly on a given training example, since it's just doing something random. For example, you feed in this image of a 3, and the output layer it just looks like a mess. So what you do is you define a cost function, a way of telling the computer, that output should have activations which are 0 for most neurons, but 1 for this neuron. To say that a little more mathematically, what you do is add up the squares of the differences between each of those trash output activations and the value that you want them to have. And this is what we'll call the cost of a single training example. Notice, this sum is small when the network confidently classifies the image correctly, but it's large when the network seems like it doesn't really know what it's doing. So then what you do is consider the average cost over all of the tens of thousands of training examples at your disposal. This average cost is our measure for how lousy the network is. 